Hey everyone, it's Renaud here. Today we're playing more Mother 3! Last time we continued ascending up the entire Porky building, and of course, Porky used the brainwashing to control the Noah. As we discovered. And in between episodes, I finally, finally, got the last little bits of ultimate equipment. So now everyone has all the ultimate equipment, and we're not going to, like, get interruptions and sudden level spikes in between episodes. So yeah. Wild for it. Mystical stick, awesome cloak, awesome crown, awesome ring. And mystical gloves, goddess Bastille, goddess ribbon, and burger bracelet. For Johan, ultimate shoes, stud charm, Horus bandana, and the Sagittarius bracelet. And for Emil, canine weapon, red collar, and goddess ribbon. Yeah. Okay, um, i just like to point out that it can, in fact, be argued that Anne's most powerful weapon is the, are the angel gloves. But they don't give the stat boosts of the mystical gloves, and their well, their attack boost isn't significant enough compared to the mystical gloves that I wouldn't actually forego the stat boosts, like with the. Uh, uh, hang on. Yes, hang on. Hang on. I do actually save and quit, guys. Anyway. Yeah, so unlike with the Mystical Shoes Ultimate Shoes, I consider the Mystical Gloves to be better because they give stat boost and they're pretty close to the Angel Gloves. Anyway, Chauffeur, hello! Master Alfred and friends, I've been waiting for you. Right, okay. I changed my hat so perhaps you don't recognize me. Yeah, no, I do. The first thing I said was Chauffeur! Right. It was the ship, but I was the chauffeur of that difficult to drive and far too long limousine. I'm pleased to see you meet at the farm. I will now determine if you're fit to meet with Master Porky or not. Kindly follow me if you would. Um, sure. Sure. Right. Hello! Okay. Master Porky just loves to play fun games. I... Well, so I will use this super whack-a-mole game to judge whether or not you're fit to be a wonderful playmate of his. Nice and pleasant music, I must say. First, allow me to explain the wonderful rules. I disagree. They're designed by Porky, they're not wonderful. Whoever hits the most bells with their mental A button hammers will win the game. Master Porky absolutely adores that word, win. The words indulge and humour mean anything to you. You'll know what to do. But if you try to throw the match, Master Porky you will be very displeased indeed. Okay, do you understand the rules now? Yes! Hit the old guy in the helmet and you'll be zapped. Do try to be careful. Yes, what you want to do is you need to let... Now then, let's bring out Master Alfred's competitor, Master Mini Porky. Yeah, he's a robot. So, what you need to do is you need to let Mini Porky almost win, but not quite. No, wait, you need to let him win, but just barely, is what I mean to say. Ready, Master Mini Porky? Begin! Okay. okay. Here he goes. One. One. Two. Two. Okay, so we need to get one and then do nothing. Wow! Simply amazing! You had a grand total of ten moles! What? Oh, right. Knee cheats. Yes, of course. Alright, you're up, Master Alfred. Yeah, we actually need to be good at this, so we need to get nine, I should think. Okay, one, two, three, anyone else? Four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, no problem yet. Right, no problem yet. There's a, I need to hammer that thing. There we go. Uh, eight. And, yeah. I think that's it. Not sure. Uh, okay, one more. That. Okay, that should be it. Right, okay. Time! How are the results? Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure I got nine. Not sure. Not, not entirely sure. Master Ultra Tracker. Ta-da! Turn hit. Nine! Yes, we did. We did it. Amazing. Oh my! Master Mini Porky, you've won the intense match by the razor's thin margin of one mole! 
What a wonderful game. Truly heart stopping. Not really though. Now then, let's move on to the next fun and exciting game, which is upstairs. Right, yeah. Next game. I find this whole little thing quite fun, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a nice distraction from the endless go up floors, fight the enemies, go further up. Thing. Hello again. Alright, things are really heating up now. Okay. Right, yes. Not, uh, we don't take turns this time. It's a race. And as I'm sure you observed in the mole thing, Master Mini Porky, air quotes, big giant glowing air quotes, I'm not calling him Master. Next is the Purple Bridge Race Game. You'll both start from the Purple Bridge at the same time. And the first to reach the other side wins. You understand the rules, yes? Also, if you, if you have the two words, indulge and divulge, as the former would be the one to focus on, if you can't find out. Do you understand? Yes! Yeah, again, we need, to, we need to let Master Mini Porker win, but just barely. Okay! When you're ready, go to your starting position. Of course, however, Master Mini Porky is terribly slow. Alright, on your mark, get set, go! Is when you start, okay? Alright, on your mark, get set, go! 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 And what's their sorts of things? Go, dodge that. And I think I'll just wait here for Master Mini Porky to catch up. I am after all pretty safe here. So just let the that slow one catch up. Again, he has to win. He always up a bit because he's on super far ahead. And he's won. There we go. Oh my! Master Mini Porky! Win the intense match by a nose! What a truly fantastic race! That was a match for the ages, not really though. Now then, let's move on to the third and final game. Yes, let's do that. Again, keep indulging Porky. Let him win, but just barely. Because he gets ticked off if you like just throw the match and let him win like five thousand years or something. And up the stairs we go. And of course hit the wall because you know we don't do that. At last, we're at the final game. Please come this way, if you would. Yes, of course. Right, yes. The final game is... To whom goes the boom? Right, here's a quick explanation of the rules. Right, yes. Use your mental A button. Air quotes. Yeah. Air pump to quickly inflate your balloon until BOOM! The first to pop this balloon wins. Understand the rules now, right? Yes! I'd say no, but then you just repeat. Then please go to your position. Alright then. Okay, here we go. Now then, I'm tripling the point for this final game. Means that you have a very good chance of coming from behind to win at all, Master. But don't win, guys. Don't win. Please try your very best. Alright, here we go. Ready, set, go! Just gonna let him catch up. Crap. Clap, clap, clap. But so young, you've mastered so much. I hereby deem you fit to meet Master Porky. Now then, please go and pay Master Porky a wonderful visit. Yeah, basically, when Master Mini Porky, still Master with giant, huge, air glowing air quotes, Pumps up a level, basically just quickly pump up a level. Okay? Anyway. Go up the stairs. And take a nap. Because, of course, you know, Porky. So take a nap, be rested, be ready, full PB, etc. Full PB, full, full HP. Have some items if you haven't used those. So yeah, let's go! Because now we meet this thing! Oh, isn't it terrifying? Alfred. Welcome to my room! It's the real 100th floor that you wanted to come so to oh so badly. Again, I welcome you, my beloved detestable pests. Not detestable, that pest. I was the one who invited you here. You're free to come inside if you wish. It's just, I've given orders to let no one enter my room. That little attack toy you see right there. He says little. He says little. 
I feel like it's not quite so little. Who knows, maybe this is where we'll say goodbye, even though I might be here. Right, let's turn it on. Say hello to the natural killer cyborg. Right, okay. That NK cyborg suddenly attacked. Now, let's apply the boss strategy here. Not techno. Right, let's apply the boss strategy. Defense up first. Also, this has a really bad SD. I'm going to be quiet for a second. Yeah, anyway, okay, it is a, it is supposedly a really cheap move, but I have actually never used PK Grand ever. Usually I'm not this high level when I get here. So I think I'm go I want to see how, how it all works. And then I'm going to be quiet again because, seriously, badass theme. Yes, you'll see that PK Grand is rather ludicrous amount of damage, and I'm going to keep shutting up because this song is amazing. Ha! Franklin Batch, screw you! Didn't take more damage though. Anyway, let's get offense up, and let's try a good old-fashioned Thunder Omega and Tickle Stick. Come on, work this time, and you can attack him. Lovely! Okay, here we go. Two... Three, yes! Come on! Four lightning strikes, please! Yeah! All four lightning strikes here! Lovely! Didn't work yet. Bloody hell. Well... Offense up is always something. Okay, let's see. You will be destroyed! Four down and attack. Oh dear. Oh! Holy crap! You know what? This thing is scary. I'm gonna burst out all the stops. And then I'm gonna go heal on the couch. But yeah, we're going full aggressive mode and we're destroying it as quickly as possible. That thing is scary. PK Ground! The most broken PSI in all of the game ever. But yeah, I love it. We will destroy you! End of the century beam. That sounds scary. Hitting all of us. Oh crap, I sense mortal damage for someone. Yes, indeed. More damage to Alfred. Everyone else takes quite a bit of damage. She's going to need to do a life of Omega. You attack. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, please. And thank God we saved. Excellent. And we got everyone's health ticking back up. Seriously, the theme is so cool. I mean, maybe it's because I love, like, rock and metal and shit, but this is just really good, in my opinion. Oh, he missed! Oh, that was amazing! And go for Alfred, please. Will Franklin Badge should... Yeah, Franklin Badge! Voice crack, too! But Franklin Badge! Bitch! Franklin Badge is amazing! Well, yeah, we're gonna destroy him as much as physically possible because I want to just utterly wreck shit right now. So, let's roll out the second most powerful piece of iron and possession Star Storm! And go and you can kick him and you can immediately go bite him. And 150 damage, 160, nice and crisp. Star Storm! Oh yeah! And Gaze the Mega again. Hell yes! Get wrecked, son! You're gonna get Frank's badge now. Hell yes! Take that! Because we're the best around! I'm totally gonna get copyrighted now. If I, you know, have monetization enabled. We'll get there. Anyway, keep the. keep the amazing PSI going. Round, yes. Love that one. Kick him in the face, punch him. Oh, yes. He should be dying soon. Uh, yeah. But yeah, if you don't use, like, really cheap and powerful PSI, like Ground, Star Storm, and, and, and Games Omega, this is actually kind of a tough fight. Yeah. We destroyed him! Oh, yes. We got 34,381 experience, which is just amazing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that we level up quite a bit. So yeah, N was level 72. And level 73, so HP up at 4, PPM by 3, off the top at 1, middle type at 73, middle was level 72 as well. HP up at 7, off the top at 1, TP type at 1, I copy up 3. Yes. And I'll just show you where Johan and uh, Alfred are at as well. Here we 
destroy the natural killer cyborg. Excellent. So yeah, I'll just show you levels. 73, 73, 71, and 73. That's everyone's level. I'm gonna go heal on the couch because, well, we used quite a bit of uh, BB on that fight. It was really fun though. I mean, pretty rare that we get to just unleash all of our PSI and just throw the PB down the toilet. Artillery wreck someone. It was very fun. That's utterly hilarious. Anyway, let's go kick Porky's ass. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's definitely a theme from uh, like Earthbound or Mother One. Uh, I think Mother, I think Earthbound's more likely than that game where Porky originally appeared. Holy crap, that's always long. Oh, he's sprinting. Oh, I love this. Oh, I totally forgot this. This is amazing. That's uh, Ness's house. Uh, Ness is the main character from Earthbound. There's the uh, the car up there. That's the tour bus of the Runaway Five, which is sort of like the DCMC. They're a band in Earthbound. There's uh, Tessie. She helps that yeah, in the game. Taxis. Oh, they're not exactly very special. Uh, yeah, phones and stuff. That's how you save a uh, face sorter, I think. That was built by a doctor and enough from the Mr. Saturn, actually. And the giant thingies that were blocking that blocked away. And that's the helicopter that Porky uses to escape from a skyscraper later on in the game. That guy, I can't remember his name, but when they uh, did his theme, they sampled the Beatles, that's pretty cool. Uh, a regular bus. ATM, that's how you got money. No frogs. Can't remember where the submarine's from. Uh, bicycle, you can get a bicycle early on. This is really this very fun trip. And this is a, another version of Face Portal, it's the one you use at the end, I believe. And there's Porky, uh, Porky's Spider Mech from the end of the game. Uh, he's part of the final boss fight. He uses that Spider Mech. Ah, uh, I believe those are supposed to be beans, those single pixels. Yeah, they're beans. It's utterly hilarious, I think. Anyway, so yeah, after a literal trip down memory lane. Okay, well, not quite literal, but trip down memory lane. That was great. Yes. After that trip, it's time to go and confront Porky. I think. I mean, has to. Yes. Okay. So, present pencil eraser. Yeah, this is a reference to Earthman. So yeah. Okay. Look here. We take this. Go in our uh, inventory. Uh, right, yes. Where is the thingy? Hang on, let me check key items. Yeah, pencil eraser. Redicate all iron pencil shaped figures in just one second. Yeah, just a reference, but I mean, there's this one. Use the pencil eraser. Oh, yeah! For some weird, weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased! Oh, it's fun. The reference references are fun. And Earthbound really is an amazing game. I mean, seriously, it's, it's really great. I go out, go out, track it down somewhere for the uh, Super Nintendo. It's, it's really fun. Trust me. Well, I have to say, at one point in the game, I get a bit stuck because I can never quite figure out exactly where to go. I looked at the guy there, beat it. It was fun. It was good. Very good. Game. Excellent game. Let's go kick Porky's ass. Everything is done. Drago was your fault. So yeah, Simon's on you, Porky. You and the rest of the pig mask, I will bloody wreck your shit. Very ominous. Very creepy. The beginning of the end. The end of everything. No, because we're going to wreck your shit. And he just looks exactly like he did in Earthbound. Odd. I mean, I realize he travels through time, but I wonder how he maintained his youthful good looks. But him. apparently... You've been shut out from literally every other time and place in existence. I mean, one would think that he had time traveled quite a bit before he came here. Let's be friends. I'm Porky. I'm really just this meek little boy. Oh yeah, meek's the word. He's your... Uh, he's briefly with you at the beginning of Earthbound, and he's utter shit and does nothing like Thomas. At the beginning of this one. Right. Please don't have any more. I will not! You tried to murder me! Like, several times! Well, you had your army try to murder me several times. Please talk to me like good boys and girls. You know, just like me. No! The most epic no in existence! Well, okay, no. Probably not the most epic no in existence. I mean, 
Jagger Conroy, who I get the no thing from, could probably do more epic damage, but anyway. No! Too forky. That's not very nice now, is it? Actually, I'm not very nice either. And he flips! Yeah, because, uh, well... Yeah, they're robots, basically. So five of the Porkies. Which is all caps, so I guess it's an acronym for something. Uh, like, piggy, overweight, uh, something. I don't know. I'd love to come up with an acronym that's also an insult. Anyway. Right, yes. These things are sort of scary, and they're also a boss fight, really. So yes, let's slap on defense. Trust me, you're gonna want this. And that's... Okay, it's really cheap, but it's just so fun. Okay, one more time. We'll use ground, PK ground one more time, then I'm done, okay? Very cheap move. What are you going to use again after this fight, okay? Yeah, okay, there's three of them. No really point in lowering the defense. Let's just target one of them for destruction. You will be destroyed! Because we have PK ground and it's immensely powerful. Boggy three fell over. That's terrifying. That does, like, basically nothing to them. I'm scared, guys! Okay, right. Actually, hang on. I think, actually, PK ground does, like, a certain percent. Does, like, damage based on how much HP the enemy actually has. Mechanical ramming attack, right. Okay, that does basically nothing. Fellow and can't move. Oh, yes, thank you very much. Mechanical ramming attack. Okay, I'm not too scared of it. I mean, I realize we raised deep, but still, they're not too scary. Let's bash him. And let's do thunder that can hit you. Want anyone? Kick that one. Go for that one. Combo a bit. Excellent, excellent. Oh, yes! The thunder will destroy you! Get hit in on everyone. And yes! Mechanical explosion. So yeah, like, so yeah, like the uh, nuclear dudes we fought earlier, when they die, they explode. So be wary. Kind of ramming attack. Well, I don't care. Fork 3 is still fought. Uh, has still fought, uh, fallen over, and I love it. Just have a quick life up Omega on. Everyone's getting. I think I feel like everyone's getting a bit low. Thunder Omega, keep that going. I feel like it does good damage in it, and it can hit anyone. So, oh come on! There we go, much better. And oh come on! Really? I'm severely ticked off. Anyway, we took I took out Porky too. That's something. And here we go, life up Omega, immediate, basically immediately preventing the damage from the Omega explosion. I love it! And there's five of them, so these three should be the last one. Mechanical attack. Don't even care. Porky 3 finally got up. That took him a while. Mechanical attack. Right, yeah. Don't even care. You're not scary. I can destroy you quite easily. Because I've done ridiculous grinding. Grinding. Like, so much ridiculous amount of grinding. Porky 3 dies. And it's just ludicrous. I mean, seriously. Uh, Jack Conroy, he played, he got to this part of the game. It was actually a very tough fight for him. I've just been doing so much right. Oh, come on! Hit people, please. There we go. Much better. Come on! And get your, get your thunder straight, okay? Kind of ram attack. You're not scary anymore. And that's port five. Yeah, let's just physically, physically, uh, physically attack him. There we go. Porky five goes down. And... One Porky left. Porky 5. We are going to try you. Porky 4 was the one who yeah, went down. I'm sorry. Flashed an insincere mechanical smile. That's oddly terrifying. Didn't even show us anything, just that's oddly terrifying. And Porky 5 goes down. Mechanical explosion. And everything. Lovely. Well, not the explosion, but... Ugh. What? Porky 6 joined the fight. Uh, okay. And he called for help. From, from a nice poser and a minor robot. Well, minor robots there from ages ago. We can destroy those with utter ease, but okay. That was surprising. Let's keep the thunder rolling and kick that guy in the face. Because I don't like him. It's me! No visible effect on the nice poser. Okay, fine. Could you go for Porky? Come on! Hit people! Oh, come on! Hit Porky, please! I'll take hitting minor robot. Anyway, heal everyone. Okay, we need to get around a nice pose guy. He's an arsehole. 
Minor robots, not really a threat. I mean, we dealt with those chapters ago, so... They don't exactly scare me. Ram attack. Thinking of a new pose. Oh, good. Does nothing, basically. Through a bomber. I hate you, minor robot. Okay, that's not too bad. Anyway. You! Voice crack. Attack. Just keep attacking, Porky. And you know what? I'm annoyed, so let's throw a freeze Omega at the minor robot. Just to kill him. And kick Porky in the face. Bite him as well. Thank you very much. And that should kill him. Excellent! Minor robot goes down. Really overkill, but I don't even care. Okay, Porky 6 goes down. That's it? Well, no, we still have to kill him. I suppose, but that should be it for the Porkies, right? Yeah? Of course not. How can I be so stupid? Porky 7! Right, where does he keep all these Porkies? Like, I mean, I'm assuming the real Porky's somewhere. Where does he keep all these bots? Anyway, let's destroy Nice Pose because I hate him and he's an ass. But I actually can't really be Omega, so let's get that back up. And so freeze Omega on Porky 7, and then Emil and Johan can go for the Nice Pose. Never mind, just Emil. There we go! What? Okay, he has a counter for Peace Eye, and he doesn't take much damage from Freezer Man. Well, that's unfortunate. But who cares? We can destroy him. We're amazing. Oh, hell. Uh, of course, yes. Go down, Porky 7. We don't care for you. There we go. Mechanical explosion. Almost immediately. Excellent. Except he explodes. But, you know, I'll take him dying. Electric shock effect. They're going to crack me back, my friends. Yeah, screw you. Not a lot of damage, but I don't even get. Moving pose! Oh, come on! Gotta be kidding me. Fine, fine. Okay. Healing Alpha. There we go. The rest of you, kick the battery man, because I don't care for him. There we go. And the owns. Please destroy Nice Pose. Nice Pose became tape. And Alfred heals himself. Lovely. That stopped his tears. Is that it? Uh, of course not. Three more Porkies. One after the other, even more Mecha Porkies join the fight. Come on! How many of these are, of these things are there? Gotta be kidding me. Wait, what? All of a sudden, the guys rushed into the room. Okay. Oh, pig masks. It was the DCFC! Woo! DCFC! And amazing music as well. I'm gonna shut up. Except when the text says something. Fuck you, jumped out of front. Tundagossa! Try to climax is when unruly dudes like us get to shine! Fuck your attacks! Smash! Send me shimmy smiths, jump out in front. Seems that Mark Master Porky Guy was trying to uh, use us to brainwash everyone. I think Time Time will screw up his idiotic plans. Oh yeah, shimmy smiths! Go for it! Smash! Yeah! And they don't, and they don't even explode, explode because the DCMC is just that awesome. Magic jumped out the front. Ha! We can let this porky freak have his way. Magic attacks and smash! He just kills one immediately. Oh yes. OJ, you're the last one. He jumps out in front. We're gonna make you pay for all the bad stuff you've done. Be ready. It's punishment time. OJ attacks. Boom! Smash! And Porky Turn goes down! Oh, the DCF, so I love them. I'm gonna shut up for a bit. We win! And we get a nice, lovely 16,797 experience. The other level is now 72. Excellent! HP by 4, offense up by 2, defense up by 2. Lovely! DCMC, you're the best! I love them! Flint? Come then, Mill. Alfred, this is it. This is finally it. Wait, what? Why is a Mill freaking out? We managed to. Hey, Wes! We managed to corner the enemy. Have oh, we all been dragged here? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't matter you know, either way. Right, Johan. Uh, okay. And Alec and. Hey, can't remember his name. He's the guy from Beach. Light and Fuel. Okay. Dr. Endernut, say, buddy. Wait, what? <coughs> <coughs> Come right a little closer so I can see your face better. Are you quoting Red Riding Hood? Little, little Red Riding Hood, Africa? And what? Where are you? Oh, is that what you look like? I'm the one who brought you here. 
a traveler who has journeyed to and from past and future. And the most clever, most charming, and most troublemaking boy ever. Master Porky Mitch. You wonder why I'm giving him the weird voice while he coughed and wheezed, and also... Well... Well... Hang on, let the game pan up. Well... Hang on, hang on, give me a second. I welcome you once again. You weak hangers on, pretending to be, to, be, to be last survivors of this world. Spankity, spankity, spankity. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. Terrifying, I know. Yeah. This is Borky, as he actually looks like now. <coughs> Started backing your memories to create a new world where humanity's past failures will never be repeated. How stupid can you be? No matter how much you change the rules, no matter how much you refuse to admit defeat, in the end, the creatures known as people will always sign their own death warrant by acting out of stupidity and evil. And then mankind would be gone for good. You could have been happy, if only you would have done as I did. Obediently followed the visionary's selfish, selfish desires of a great hero. <laughs> um. <gasps> Why is it you struggle to cling to life with such puny minds, pitiable bodies, and feeble hearts? Well, no matter. The curtain is about to fall on this pathetic little play of yours. But soon, the power of power will be mine. This the world and everything in it has been my oyster so far. Quoting Shakespeare, are we? Yeah, well, your oyster is from something Shakespeare. Can't remember exactly what, but, well, pretty sure Shakespeare. My mum's an English teacher. She told me Shakespeare, so you might trust her. And now I'll end it by acquiring the ultimate power. <laughs> 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 Though everything so far has been fun and games, I've given you many a concession. I was bored out of my mind and wanted to play something more thrilling, you see. But now that we're face to face like this, I won't hold anything back. My slave, my lifeless son, will pull the final needle for me. And the moment he does, the dragon should awaken do as I want. At which time I assume you fools will turn into garbage or dust or something, and finally disappear for good. <laughs> I'll admit, that is kind of sad, but I would be crushed under the weight of my boredom if it were any other way. You utter shithole. <gasps> Understand now? Do you understand the sadness Master Porky bears? And that he's godlike. <laughs> what? What was that? Oh god, what's going on? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. You love your little dramatic plays, this could have come at a better time for you. It seems the seventh and final needle has just been located deep underground, below here. Interesting. Dr. Andernuts! I refuse to help you anymore. I don't think he cares much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you want to pull it too, right, Alfred? Why not go and check it out then? I've been being fair enough to tell you where it is. I really will make this game all the more fun. Yes, I quite agree. For once, with Porky. Only time I'm ever going to get rid of Porky, I promise. But I think I'll use my shortcut to give myself a head start if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you can use 
this elevator all you want. Speckity, speckity, speckity. <gasps> You utter shit! You utter shit! And no! Ah, uh, hey, Flint's coming with us. Cool, cool. Flint! You're kind of cool because you're like a cowboy and stuff. Cowboys are cool. And wow, yeah. When he was saying deeper ground, he wasn't getting around. Really is really, really deep underground. Like, seriously, this is ridiculous. It's like the hallway, but just down. You know. The hallway, the really long one, and even more falling. Right, yeah, okay. I also feel like this elevator is going to be just a bit too fast for it to be, like, safe and stuff. I mean, of course, that's just me, and I am a person who worries quite a bit, but yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, right, yes. Well, no, I guess we're okay. To a certain degree. Sort of, then. Right, yes. Where's well, sort of alright? Seems. Now, don't worry, you don't take damage or anything, it's just, like, for cutscene purposes. Alfred. Alfred. It's something that has been confirmed. Could you let me go on ahead first? No! You haven't level up since chapter one. Just say yes and don't ask why, okay? No! Okay, he says the same thing. Say funny things! I yes. Why though? Fine, no answers. Thanks. Didn't ask why. I will ask why. Why? But if it seems like I've been gone a long time, then go ahead and keep going. Yeah, I'm going to keep going the second you're off screen. Well, no, that isn't entirely true because well, I'm going to end the episode here. So we will be pursuing Flint next time, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you enjoyed it this video, please remember to leave a like, if you want to see more videos like it, all you have to do is subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and have a very nice day. Goodbye.